Hey everyone, so that's the video that all of you have been requesting to see. It is the unboxing of Sony's phone of the year, the Xperia XZ. Now at the top of the screen here you see you have the other X series phones, which we'll get to throughout the video. But for now, let's do the unboxing. So as you can see from the outside of the box, uh, Sony's standard X series boxing. And on the back, there's some specs at the bottom, which I'll talk about throughout the video. Alright, so it's just arrived from Amazon. This is the United States version. And I have it unboxed here, guys. You know that there's no stick or anything. Uh, nothing sealing it shut here. But again, I have not unboxed. This is how it comes. Alright. So you see I have the Xperia XZ at the top. And one more look at the outside of the box. Some nice colors. Again, very standard for the X-Series box. I think all the X-Series boxes are pretty much identical. And this is the Forest Blue version. Also get it in black, platinum, and just announced today that there's a UK version of the pink one coming. Alright, so we're going to get to that in a minute. And this looks like your standard books, as you see. Yeah, it's all your standard books. And of course, guys, there probably will be some differences depending on the region. Uh, United States, unfortunately, we don't get anything. We don't get any special bonuses. And it looks like a pretty bare bone uh, unboxing here. So you see we do have the wall adapter. And over here is a USB Type-C cable under this flap. So you guys, this phone does have USB-C. Uh, obviously newer technology than micro USB. Same as the X, uh, the X Compact. So you see there's a cable. And that's it, it looks like. So a little bit uh, disappointing with the unboxing. Uh, it's cost $700, no headphones or anything. But nonetheless, the thing that we all care about is the phone. So let's take a look. Wow, that's a really beautiful color. I think blue is kind of a trend this year. See a lot of companies coming out with blue colors. Yeah, really beautiful design here. Yeah, this first impressions, uh, very high, very high quality material. All right, so let's turn this on. So some of the specs on this, uh, the screen is 5.2 inches, still 1080p, not 2K like a lot of the newer phones. Uh, but 424 pixels per inch Xperia phones usually have pretty good screens. 13 megapixel front facing camera on the back, 23 megapixel, and new features on here like better uh, image stabilization. In terms of storage, you can get either 32 64 gigabytes of internal storage, does have micro SD card support, battery upgrade over the X performance, 2900 capacity. Uh, internally, you're getting a Snapdragon 820, 3 gigabytes of RAM, stereo speakers. This phone is waterproof. Glad that Sony has waterproofing for this phone because some of the recent X phones like the oops, like the X Compact doesn't have waterproofing. Um, so as I mentioned, you have USB-C at the bottom. You do have a headphone jack unlike some other recent phones. Um, let's see here. Fingerprint scanner is on the side, although the United States version, you don't have it. It's just a soft limitation, so you can enable that if you want, but you have to root your phone. And it looks like right off the bat, we're getting a software update. Um, so yeah, this is pretty expensive phone, $700. But we'll see if it's worth it. Alright, let me just go through this one second, guys. Alright, so just booted it up. 
Uh, of course, your standard Xperia interface here, as you guys see, should be on the latest version of Marshmallow. And once again, guys, really beautiful design on this. Very high quality metal material. And I also love the blue color. So if you guys watched my unboxing of the Xperia X uh, Compact, which I have right here, you know that I really wasn't impressed with the build quality of it. Very plasticky material. I mean, really doesn't look that great either in terms of just the overall design. I don't think it's that nice looking. Um, but the X Z pretty good looking. Now my favorite still in terms of overall look, I'd have to say is the XA. You have the edge edge screen display here. Really beautiful design. Uh, the XA Ultra, of course, right up there as well. Also have that edge edge screen. But let's take a look at some of the phones that are more similar to this one. So more specifically, the X Performance and Z5. So I do have, let me just show you guys all the phones up here. So this is the Z5, the X Compact, the XA, the XA Ultra, the X, and the X Performance. So the two phones most similar to are on the left and right. Let's take a look. All right. So of course, guys, I will have full videos on of this on my channel later on. Um, but for now, let's take a look at the design, doing all the speed tests and all that. All right. So in terms of design, both of them are pretty similar. Let me just move this X performance out of the way. So again, this is the Z5 in my left hand. Looks to be a little bit taller. I believe they're the same screen size, 5.2 inches. Put them on top of each other. Yeah, the XZ is really like a, a tad bit taller, but not much of a difference at all. And on the back, so a different material. On the Z5, you're getting a frosted uh, glass back. And of course on the XZ again, metal. Personally, I do like the design of the XZ more, I think. They probably could have done more in terms of reducing the bezel, uh, the bezel size on the XZ. But aside from that, really not much to complain about. And I do like the top also, like the top and the bottom. So you see it's more of like a tubular design. So you see there, really nice right there. Let's just look at the Z5 in comparison. See the Z5 a little bit more, you know, it doesn't have the same style that the XZ does. And that's the same for the bottom. Yeah, so this is one of my favorite Xperia phones in terms of design. Uh, let's look at the X Performance. So the X Performance came out earlier this year. Pretty similar in specs, now there are some advantages on the XZ, which I'll talk about more in other videos. Um, but the main ones being improved camera at the back, um, have a larger battery, USB-C, you can record in 4K mode. So yeah, there's some, some definite improvements in the XZ. So here's a look at them side by side. Screen size on the XZ is also 0.2 inches uh, larger. So let's see how that looks next to each other. So you can tell the XZ a little bit taller, but again, bigger screen as well. Very nice material on the back on both. But personally, I think that the XZ design I like more, just more style to it. It feels a little bit more complete, I guess. And again, at the bottom, you can see here, very nice design at the bottom and at the top. All right, guys, so that covers most of what I wanted to cover in the video. Um, please subscribe for more content in the future. I will be having a ton of videos and not just against Xperia phones, against everything, against iPhones, against Galaxy phones, like right here, the Galaxy Note 7. 
I think that's going to be the next video I do a speed test with that. Um, and also upcoming phones like the Pixel phones, LG V20, and a bunch more. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more content like this in the future. And let me know in the comment section what video you want to see next.